I've been stone tumbling, stone washing my own knife blades here for a little while, and uh, I made a bit a while. I made a video a while back um, of my tumbler. It's uh, you can find that here on YouTube. But um, I made that, and uh, one of the guys on I think it was Garage Journal or somewhere was interested in how I make the rest of the the, the drums. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Basically, what I've got is a piece of four inch PVC with a cap. That's going to be permanently mounted. I've got this flexible rubber cap so that I can get in and out of that. Um, we're going to use, I'm going to take this piece, I don't know, that may be two inch, inch and a half, what is that? I don't know. Anyway, um, not quite four inch. I'm going to use that on the inside of this pipe to help aid in the tumbling. When the media hits, it'll, it'll just help it keep bouncing around. Um, I don't know if that's needed, but that's what I do. Then we've got some silicone. I'm going to rivet this to the inside of here, PVC cement for the cap and then a pop rivets and that's basically all you need um, you can scrounge all this up I think this cap was about seven bucks this cap was four bucks you got five bucks for silicone the rest of this stuff's kind of shop stuff um, so I wouldn't really say that you'd have to buy anything other than these two pieces here and you can probably scrounge the rest I scrounge that scrounge that and the rest I already had so anyway I'm gonna cut this down and uh, we'll get right to it I'll show you how we're gonna make this Okay, so I cut down my larger piece, or my small, uh, my two inch, cut it down into four pieces as you saw in the video. I also trimmed it so it just fit just inside of the uh, circumference of the larger, or the length actually, of the four inch pipe here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, I'm going to rivet them evenly spaced in there, kind of like that. Okay, so I took these over to the drill press and I just put an initial hole in there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one rivet. Let's see, we're looking at part hole one. I'm going to put one rivet in there and then I'm going to use that punched rivet to help me line up the rest of these holes. And I'll just drill them out real quick with them in the unit, with them in there. So that helps me just get it set up a little bit better. So here we go. And something I didn't do there that I'm going to do on the others, I meant to put some caulk around those holes um, just to keep it from leaking. So I'm going to do that as well. Alright, so now I think I've got my act together. Got the caulk going. About to pop another rivet here. All right, so we've got our veins, whatever you want to call them, in there. Um, I'm going to come, this is number two here, we'll clean this up a little bit. And I'll come back and I'm going to hit all these rivets with some caulk, clean that up. But next what we want to do is we want to put the cap on. So... Basically the cap, and that's why I slid these rivets down, because that cap's going to slide pretty good ways down there. Boy, that stuff smells like it should melt some brain cells, doesn't it? Alright, so we're going to slide the cap down on here, trying to side, I spaced them all pretty much evenly. Alright, so the cap's on that end. Looks pretty good, and then this end obviously, we'll just have our plastic cap. Uh, 
and that's basically it. Um, I may or may not put some grip tape on here. Um, just depends. But slide that on there. And that's basically it. I'll take a video later of it on the uh, on the tumbler. And since you're using um, and you're just using media, um, this clamp may or may not even be essential. Um, I've always run it with a clamp, but on my other ones, I've got a reducer so the clamp doesn't get in the way. So I'm gonna have to look at that. But and if worse comes to worse, I'll just get a get one with a plug in the end. But I think this is gonna work fine. We'll give it a shot and see. So that's a uh, uh, real quick. I made a mess, boy. Um, I've got a lot of learning to do with these YouTube videos. But that's basically it.